What's up everybody? Welcome to the video. You know, today's video is going to be a little bit unique in a way because I'm going to be showing you the Volkswagen Sport Wagon TDI right there. That's right. Um, we had a request on YouTube about a week ago if you could please film a daytime walk around and a night walk around on a uh, sport wagon. So that's what I'm here to do today for this special commenter on YouTube. But uh, other than that, what is, what's going on here also is that that car right there is a 2015 model. So you can only imagine what happened back then, a year ago or so, with all the emissions and all that stuff with Volkswagen. A big thing happened, right? What is it? <laughs> you know, that's right. So anyways, let's get started. Let's take a look at it. Let me take this heavy camera rig off this one arm to hold it, do a selfie video, and spin it back around. All right, let's get back into the normal camera recording mode like I'm used to doing, right? Anyways, so uh, we're gonna walk around, take a look at the sport wagon, see what it's all about. Um, basically, it's still, I'm pretty sure it's still a brand new car on the lot right now. It's parked right in that spot right over there, in the uh, with right there with the new cars. So uh, you know we've had I guess about eight to twelve of these things parked down the road in a parking lot for the last year or so, just sitting. And uh, they finally got word that they could bring them in the shop back there and fix that module issue that was going on, and then put them back up front to sell on the lot. So that's this is one of them, and this is actually one of the last ones that I know of on ground. Now, I want to show you kind of what it looks like after a big issue that happened with Volkswagen happened and basically the fuel economy, from what I can tell, wasn't being displayed properly on the window stickers because they had fudged a little something around with the uh, module in the car and somehow somebody found out and it just brought a big thing to the hole. People were bringing the cars back, dropping them off, getting their money back and all this different stuff, okay? But I've also learned that uh, true Volkswagen drivers that really do love Volkswagens, that's not gonna stop them from driving a VW and owning and buying a VW, okay? So if anything, they got a little money back in their pocket and they put it down on a brand new car. So anyways, let's take a look. This is the Sport Wagon. TDI diesel, of course. This is what it looks like in 2015. Now it's June 2017, a few years later, and, uh, and it's still here as a brand new car on the lot, right? Or maybe it's pre-owned. I don't know. We'll get inside in a second to look at the mileage on it. Good looking alloy wheels, five stars. Continental tires on there. Tires look great. That's a 16 inch wheel with a 205 55 series Continental tire. Got the mud flaps, bright red in color, of course. Got the little roof racks up there. Um, no sunroof on this particular car. But here's what I want to show you. So here is the original Moroni label that I'm assuming is the original Moroni, Moroni label. And uh, what you'll see here, 42 highway, 31 city for an average combined of 35 mile per gallon. Then you come over to this sticker over here, that's the, uh, it says emissions modification has been performed. And look at that, 42, 31, 35. So again, 42, 31, 35, 42, 31, 35. So either that's a new sticker right there, or that's the old sticker and they put the new one on. I don't really understand what's going on. It's got me a little confused. So if y'all are watching and y'all really know about this a little bit more than I do, please let me inform me in the comments section because I'm confused on why the fuel economy is exactly the same. Either the module they put in made the fuel economy the same as what it was back then or what they were stating it was, or this is just a, this is just a mix up here, okay? Because it's the same on both. I thought when I walked up to the car that this would be a little bit lower because that whole ordeal that happened, but I guess not, right? Not really sure at this particular moment. And when I go in there and talk to the sales guys about it, they don't seem to be all that sure. The general manager, I haven't got to speak to him because he's not here. And the other guys just don't want to bother him. They're so busy working deals with customers and all that. I just don't like getting in there and messing with those managers too much. Kind of like going up to a beehive and shaking the beehive around so you can get stinged, okay? Sometimes when you work in the car business, you just leave those guys alone unless it's time to work a deal or something like that. 
So anyways, I'll just keep on filming. And that's what I do. So as you can see there, looking pretty good looking car, the sport wagon, right? Basically a Jetta turned into a wagon. I got it running right now. It's actually pretty quiet. You know the old stigma, you know, diesel engines, they stink, they're loud. You know, that might have been that old Mercedes Benz, you know, parked in my neighbor's yard when I was a kid and it stunk and it was loud. It's not that way anymore with the Volkswagens, okay? But I, one thing I like about the sport wagon vehicle, and I've actually taken one of these home before. I've taken a Jetta home many a times. I've taken this home. My wife seems to like the sport wagon. I don't know what it is. It's just something about a wagon. When you got kids or you got a busy and athletic or whatever lifestyle, it seems like the sport wagon is just the way to go. But um, I like how you got a lot of room in the back, as you can see there. You can tell it's a little bit older vehicle. I mean, look how faded that roadside assistant kit is. That's another thing we're doing right now, folks. You're looking at a car on the lot, and now we're fast forwarding two, two years later. I mean, look at that. That's how that bag fades if you don't keep that closed. So, customers, people, owners, take advantage of that right there. It's nice. Take advantage of that so things don't get all faded out inside the car. Okay, because if I was a customer buying it, you know, and maybe maybe not me, but some customers would be that picky to say, I want a new cover on here. I want a new bag, okay? Because I don't like it. It's faded. And I'm buying a brand new car, right? That's possible. Um, no power tailgate on this particular car. If you want a power tailgate, you need to move up now in 2017 to the Volkswagen Alltrack. Okay, that's what you're going to want to roll over to. Let's go ahead and hop in on the inside, see what we got going on. Still power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, heated mirrors, um, leatherette, not real leather, leatherette, which some of the people, guys in there say that leatherette's even better, easier to keep clean, that kind of thing. Got your TDI all season mats down there. That is real leather that's wrapped on the steering wheel though. Let's hop in and see what kind of miles is on this car, because that's where we're uh, gonna learn something. Let's hop in. Let's see how many miles are on the Volkswagen TDI Sport Track. Or Sport, <laughs> sport Wagon. Did I say Sport Track? <laughs> uh, nice and comfortable though, not bad. All right, let's see. So this is practically a brand new car. I'm zooming in with this super wide angle Canon lens. It's a 10 to 22 millimeter. We'll get in there as much as we can. As you can see, 448 miles. So this is practically brand new. I can only assume this car was on the lot probably back in 2015 for sale and it didn't sell. And uh, when all that stuff started to happen with that issue, it just, you know, it just got parked for a while. Um, this is your screen. Hit that for your band. I'm gonna mute that for a minute, no copyright stuff. But that's your nice little screen on your Volkswagen. You know, everything with Volkswagen is very simple and, um, you know, nothing's really over the top, okay? Your Japanese cars are over the top a lot of times. You know, your Volkswagens and your Audis and your BMWs and your German cars are very, the fit and finish is very clean and simple and just nice, okay? The feel of things is nice in these cars. It even has little paddle shifters right there. The buttons sometimes have a click to them like that. It feels nice, okay? Um, I like this kind of metal brushed look inside the car, looks good. You do have a start stop engine button right down there, automatic transmission. Um, here's our key right here, still has that little switchblade type feature on it. Decent sized cup holders, pretty small armrest for the most part though, not very big on the armrest. Somebody was in ghetto mode and laying back in that seat, but um, up top. You actually got sunglass holders. Did you know you can buy a 2018 Atlas right now and it doesn't even have a sunglass holder? So that's nice, I like that. Um, no LED lighting, okay? That's just traditional light bulbs. And no LED lighting up there. But very clean, nice car, and again, it's TDI, so it should get good fuel economy for you. Kind of fun yeah i like it. it's red it's sporty nice looking car and you know it's one of the last tdis we have for sale here at stokes volkswagen so to end out this video 
If you're looking to buy a TDI and get a uh, pretty decent amount of uh, discount on it, that might be the car right there. I don't know the discount, you know, if it was me, I'd have a big window thing on there saying, boom, 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 this is how much it was or is and now. But um, anyways, if you are interested in this car and you're watching the video and, uh, and you have the opportunity to buy it and you, and it, you know, within this month here in June, because I don't see it sitting around too long, maybe a month at that, um, give me a call or uh, go ahead and send us a, a message on Facebook or YouTube and let me know that you're interested in that red TDI Jetta Sport Wagon at Stokes VW. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day. Hopefully this helped you and hopefully you can send me some feedback as well about the uh, stickers over there. And if I find out more info, I'll definitely be able to uh, comment and let you know. See you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'm getting ready to shoot a couple more Volkswagen videos, the GTI and all that stuff in just a few minutes.